The Ace of Pentacles and the insect that invests into her egg and seeds it with the potential for success. Welcome back to the Metamorphosis Tarot Project where we blend bug science and art. The Ace of Pentacles, like all other aces in the White Rider deck, features a hand holding a singular representative of the suit, in this case, a pentacle. The hand represents the divine potential, the offering of a gift to the reader to do with as they wish. Will they plant it and take care of it? Will their best lives grow before them? The garden below is a glimpse of what we can grow when we dedicate ourselves, overcome challenges, and intentionally move forward. The aces in my tarot deck are all insects with their eggs, representing the potential of new life and the beginning of something new. The pentacles are represented with non-flying, grounded insects representing their earthly nature, and the pentacles themselves are mandalas designed to look like coins, representing the repetitive day-to-day -day work needed for material wealth. Now, specifically onto this ace. Many insects just leave their eggs and that's that. But some, like this Australian spiny stick insect, give them the best chance possible. She has to stay high in the canopy where her camouflage protects her from predators. The forest floor is a dangerous place for her and her eggs. Here, high in the treetops, she flicks her egg to the forest floor below, but not before bestowing her egg with a gift. Her egg is coated in a thin layer of fatty material. When the egg hits the forest floor, seed harvesting ants happen upon this odd looking seed. Not knowing any better, they bring it inside their nest, eat the fatty covering, and dump the seed into their trash pile. Here, deep underground and protected by the ants, the egg is safe until it's ready to hatch. As soon as the nymph hatches and armed with a smelly chemical, it makes a mad dash for the colony entrance. Upon reaching the exit, she'll run up to the tops of the trees to live her life and ultimately start the cycle over again. Here is a question for the naturalist. What does investment into your future or projects look like? What does investment into yourself and your growth look like? And what does investment into your community look like? 